All right, guys, it is night. And uh, actually, it really isn't even night yet, but you know, time change and everything. The nice folks at Aero Antennas hooked me up with this very cool two meter 440 antenna so I could explore space. So today, uh, or tonight, I guess, I've got my FT3, this cool two meter 440 Yagi antenna, and I'm gonna try to talk to a satellite, this time on K6UDA radio. Yeah, friends, we're going into space with ham radio. This is actually a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Um, like a lot of you, I have been uh, very intimidated by satellite stuff. I mean, a lot of big words, apogee, trajectory, all this weird terminology, stuff that I don't understand, that the rocket scientists do understand, and hitting moving targets that are thousands of miles away. So what is the basic equipment list that you're going to need to start working these birds? Well, this radio, this radio, even this radio. Literally any dual band radio you have that does dual band FM, that's the radio you need. Next, you need an antenna. This flimsy little thing just ain't gonna cut it. Now that antenna comes with uh, usually something like this BNC connector, which means you're gonna need this little adapter here that goes from the little SMA connector to a BNC. Next, you're gonna need an app. Something like uh, the, the uh, GoSat watch. This I can't say enough about. This is a great app. And the last thing you're gonna need is something to record it on. I use a GoPro. You can use your phone with the voice memos. It doesn't matter, but get something to record it on because both of your hands are gonna be busy while you're uh, making your QSOs. So my good buddy, Two, is over here. He's helping me film tonight. We call him Two. Bob One, Bob Two. Uh, two, have you ever worked a satellite? I have not. I have tried. So this will be your first satellite pass too? I've tried but been un unsuccessful every time. Okay. But you oh so you have actually tried. Have you heard them? Have uh, you have you heard them? I've heard bits and pieces but not been that successful. Okay. And like most things on ham radio, you try it, you don't it doesn't light your fire and you move on to something else. So Yep. So Satellites have always been something that I didn't really understand them and because I didn't really get it and I thought, well, you got to have some kind of tracking something and you got to do all this weird stuff and it really didn't excite me. But I'm always trying new things and so, you know, when, uh, when the aero antenna people said, yeah, you know what, you want to try satellites and we'll, we're going to send you out one of these very cool satellite antennas. And this thing is cool. I gotta say, this is uh, very well built. Uh, it's got a little handle here. Very simple little Yagi antenna. Um, it's got, uh, what, uh, three, seven elements of, uh, of 440 on there. Three element, uh, two meter. And how the satellites work is I'm gonna transmit on I'm gonna transmit on uh, two meters going up to the spacecraft and then other people I'm gonna listen to them on 440 camera sweet we are negative 5.1 degrees 1800 miles as we look at the world map here the ISS is just about to hit the west coast or its footprint is about to hit the west coast. This is getting exciting. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, we're at 
It just came over the horizon. Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, Charlie Mike 98. Cool. Is this going to work? Mm -hmm. We might. <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so my first couple of attempts didn't work out so well. And that's because, and here's the tricky part, not every satellite that's in the air is on the air at any given time. I mean, they shut down for all kinds of different reasons. Some of them have uh, old or bad batteries, and so when they go into the nighttime mode where they're in the shadow, they shut off. Uh, others, uh, they may be down for maintenance, they may be doing some other things, who knows, and with the uh, space station, I don't know if they run a repeater all the time or if it's just when one of the astronauts feels like they want to get on the air. Now, I mentioned this app before. Let's talk a little bit about this for a second. So, in the, uh, the main screen here in GoSat Watch, uh, it's got a pretty little map that shows where one of the birds are that I am tracking. So if I want to see, well, first of all, I want to see which amateur or which satellites I want to track. Uh, AO85, 91, 92, and I think uh, SO50. So if I look at my passes and I want to see what's the next pass that's coming over. Actually, in four minutes, the next pass is going to start. So where is that going to take us? And you could see that that is uh, coming from the south toward the north. And in just about two minutes here, it's going to be, uh, it's going to pass over. And this is SO50 that's coming over. So actually, let's go outside and try to contact it. Okay, so this is not going to be a super high pass. It's going to come from the south, which is over there. And I'm going to aim the antenna in that direction and I'll change I could change it for horizontal or vertical polarization. I'm gonna turn the squelch all the way off. Now 18 degrees coming in just a thousand miles away. It's gonna be way off to the side there so it's going to be off this side here toward the house. So it likes that polarization. Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, Charlie Mike 98. Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, Charlie Mike 98. K7 November uh, Victor Echo uh, K6 UDA. Thanks for my first uh, satellite contact. November Echo. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the QSO. Hey, thank you. Fucking hey, I got it. There was my first one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming along for my very first satellite contact. I did it. I mean, I know nothing about satellites, and I made a satellite contact that was so cool. If 
you have not already hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. Please consider supporting me on either Patreon or PayPal. It really does help. And if you have any comments or suggestions for me, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.